This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the 2018 Delaware Valley Region uh, Classic Car Club of America uh, meet in Gettysburg. It's in conjunction with, they invite the Stutz Club and the Mercer Club in. We're checking out this 33 DV32 Super Bearcat convertible. Now what's remarkable with these cars, you think with the 33, Oh. Uh, Bentley. Excuse me, folks, and if I may. Under the studs. Bentley. Thank you. No, no, no. Check out this motor. Anyway, I get a lot of That's a straight eight, double overhead cam, four valves per cylinder. Hence the 32 DV dual valve. Is that great? This was basically their swan song. Stutz was uh, already on the rocks. They had gone through hard times in the 20s, got bought out, and continued on. These cars had the slogan, the car which made good in the day, because they actually went racing at the inaugural um, Indianapolis. Now they didn't place first but they had a good showing so henceforth it proved out the car and the designs. We want to check out more of these studs in a few minutes and do a little bit of a walkabout here. These are medium to upper price cars all the controls for the uh, spark and lights. You can see on the uh, dash the 32. Just beautiful cars. They were light, they were powerful. They're really one of America's first sports cars back in the teens, the Stutz Bearcat, which was legendary. That, uh, with the Mercer, were the two cars. What we're looking at here yeah. is a 31. Yeah. This is an MB with a Ralston body. Beautiful, beautiful car. <laughs> now, again, note that these are true classics. They are custom cars. You would order the chassis and then order the body. <laughs> Another dual valve. This is typical roadster. Now check this out as typical roadster with the uh, golf versus this body. I want to see who made the body on this. Uh, to say no, Super Bearcat convertible. And what do we have here? It's just listing as a convertible. Roadster. Okay. So we've got no, uh, some I mean, folks here. Yeah, that's what you said. Maybe the sills. Rumble the seat coupe. Yeah. Like, you know, the bottom that's of it is the right. same. Golf club bag. Uh, door. I mean, compare the two because it's very, very interesting. All the different body styles. Now, notice the way how the body actually ends in front of the rear axle. Intriguing. Nice little coupe. Again, mumble seat coupe. Notice the steps going up to get in. One, two, three, and in you would go. You finally get to see the inside. If you ever get the chance to ride in a rumble seat, folks, definitely take it. Beautiful interior. Overhead cam. We got dual exhaust going down. 
generator runs the water pump. This has dual ignition. This is a 29 rumble seat coupe, 8 cylinder of course. Two down draft, cross flow head. Uh, interesting addition there. I like the linkage really rigged, but at least it's on the road. Now you see the dual ignition going in. Got the two spark plugs there. I like the uh, rigging. Now there's the way how off the steering wheel everything works. You see all the rigging for the uh, advance for the spark and such? That's from the center control. I'm going to swing around because I see one set of plugs there. And there's the other set of plugs. Again, I say 29 Stutz Series M. This is another 32 valve. That's a 31 convertible sedan. Here's a nice Survivor four door sedan. Look how low they are, just gorgeous. Very unusual to see uh, the 32 valves because they are very expensive and only made for a few years with the depression. Back to a 26 series double A. I love the coloring. Look at the uh, vents in the Landau bar. All the controls on the steering. This is also a rumble seat. Dual rears. Let's check out some earlier studs. Like I said it started in 1911. If memory serves me correct. Again, folks, please excuse me. I'm doing this from my memory as we walk around. This is a 25. Let's see if we can get in here, probably not. Six cylinder, overhead cam. This is an in-house arrangement. I'm going to zoom in on the mechanics. You'll be able to see what goes on. Pretty cool. Of course, long stroke. It's three and a half by five, 289 cube. Normal two valve, but still is the overhead cam. What a pretty little roadster. We're going to swing around a bit. This is a 23 Bearcat. I've always heard of the Stutz Bearcat. Well, congratulations, here you go. There's so many interesting little things, details on the Bearcat. So many people have built Bearcats out of the four doors. It's tough to see originals, but there are many little points. Oh, look at that beautiful side glass, beveled glass. This was the hot setup. Don't trip over the, uh, whatchamacallit, look at that fitted luggage in the back. Uh, fitted uh, trunk, I mean.
We're going ahead. I'm going to uh, take a walk over to be able to see the earlier motor. This is a 28 series BB. This is 1920 series H. Is that beautiful or what? Big four cylinder. The magneto. Water pump. Dual ignition. We got spark plugs on both sides. Uh, there he is. Environmental impact study. Screw me again. Trying to avoid him, but uh, well, we're, 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 um, we're scamming the next plant to, to ruin your dad. Yeah. Monstrous. <laughs> My mother would say that. Again, that's the 1920 Stutz. For more cool events like this, make sure you check northeastwheelsevents.com, southeastwheelsevents.com, ukwheelsevents.com. And while you're there, be sure to post and add your shows. Hello.